Hello and welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I'm Connie and I'm one of your brand ambassadors for Dixie Bell. You may recognise these drawers behind. I painted them last year uh, using silk all in one mineral paint in the colour Conch and I also heavily distressed them for a kind of a chippy farmhouse look. I was always planning on keeping these drawers but unfortunately they don't go in the room that I wanted them to, to go in. The colour's just not working. So I'm going to paint them white. Yep, you heard. I'm doing neutrals. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take those original handles off. I'm actually going to change the handles this time. And then I'm going to give the piece a light sand. The reason for that is when I painted these uh, last year in Conch, I did a chippy effect on them using sea spray um, and sort of distressed it back to reveal the pine underneath. So I'm not wanting that kind of look for these. These drawers are very, very heavily used. They have been in my family a long time and well, they've seen better days, but they're perfectly functional and that's fine for where they're going. So I am gonna sand that sea spray texture right off using my electric sander to give a slightly smoother finish. So as you can see, the top I actually left unpainted. Um, I actually left it bare pine. I didn't treat this top at all, just because I thought the tone of the pine was quite nice. But for this look that I'm going for, there are quite a lot of different woods in the room that they're going into. So I just want a really plain look for these. So the rest of the piece has been painted in conch, which is still calling more mineral paint, which has a built in stain blocking primer. Um, so, so that we're all kind of on a level playing field, I'm going to give the top two coats of boss in grey just to assist with that stain blocking um, primer because I am going fairly light on these and pine has a tendency to bleed through. The grey boss has been dry 24 hours. And now I am going in with Endless Shore in Silk All In One Mineral Paint. I'm starting with the top first, and as you can see, I'm using relatively long strokes, although there are lots and lots of blemishes on this top. So I'm working the paint into those. And the last thing I do when I finished my application of silk is just to really, really lightly run the paintbrush over the surface before I move on to the next area. So I've slowed the camera down a little bit so you can see what I mean. I'm just really, really lightly laying off that paint and this just gives you that really smooth finish that I'm looking for. Okay, onto the drawers next. As you can see, they are very, very rustic. Um, so I'm just, I've just lightly sanded that texture as back as far as I can but I don't mind a bit of character. The dings and stuff, they, they are a really old set of drawers, so I don't mind the character in them. And again, I'm just using long brush strokes as best I can to get that smooth application across the surface. And I only did two coats of Endless Shore. If you are looking for a warm sort of antique off-white with fabulous coverage, Endless Shore is your one. It's actually my go-to neutral. I really, really like the tone of this paint colour. Okay, the paint's been dry and then I got my other half to assist with putting handles on. Uh, I'm going to let you into a secret. I absolutely hate putting handles on pieces. So they are not my hands. I was behind the camera. So he put the handles on for me. And then I did a bit of distress work around sort of the edges of the top and also around the draw edges as well, just because it's in keeping with the piece. I used my electric sander and took the distress in all the way back to the pine. And I just think it kind of it kind of works with the piece. Distressing is a personal preference and it kind of has to be right on the piece, but this this piece was absolutely right for a little bit of distress work. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the previous paint job that I did last year, just to remind you. And this is the fresh one with those gorgeous handles. And although I am a colour lover, I've got to say, I do like the neutral finish on these. Thanks for watching the quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you'll agree these wear white much better than pink. Um, and make sure you're subscribing to the Dixieville YouTube channel for more videos like this one.